Grace and blessings of the Lord be always upon you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 23rd of October, the readings invite us towards a life of righteousness. You are truly right and just, O Lord. The right and just Lord created me in His image and likeness. Means I am also supposed to be right and just is calling me towards a life of righteousness. Today we see Jesus speaking about a parable of a man, of a servant whom the master leaves in charge of all his property. Blessed is the servant whom the master finds when he comes back being busy with the responsibility given to him. And if the master thinks that, that my that if the servant thinks that my master is not around, so let me do whatever I want, however I want to live, using violence over people under him, swindling the money, then when the master comes, then he will have his reward. So dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is calling us towards a life of righteousness. And how can I be righteous? If I am responsible for the gifts given to me. If I respect the gifts, if I utilize the gifts, then I am being righteous. If I really know what is it that the God, good God has put me in charge of, if I really have love towards Him and if I really take my job seriously, my work seriously, my work as a child of God, my life as a child of God seriously, then I will be righteous. The righteous is the one who never harms the other, a person who stands by the right. Psalm chapter 1 speaks about the righteous. The righteous are like plants planted by the running streams always strong, always giving plentiful fruits. So dear brothers and sisters, let us ask God for this gift of righteousness. Righteousness is what the Lord God wants us to possess. Why are we called to be righteous? Because we have the identity of Christ upon us. That's why we cannot but be righteous. When the teachers are taking the students for excursion in school uniform basically, what do they say? When you go out, when we are taking you out, do not make noise. Be disciplined because you will not, you may or may not receive a bad name, but the institution of which you are wearing the uniform will receive a bad name. Same, when you go out, when you stand in front of people, when you judge, when you deal with money, when you deal with people, when you deal with people under you, please deal in a way which will do justice to your uniform. And your uniform is being the child of God, being created in image and likeness of God, a person who has Christ as his or her identity. Amen.